Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome back for another Geography ASMR video and today we're gonna discover together Norway with the best known facts with the best known facts about and of course I like Discover the provinces that 
counties in Norway and the fact for each one good and first we go north and we have uh, Troms and Finnmark Troms and Finnmark okay let's try to control So, these are the fjords, the famous fjords in Norway. Okay, I think I draw it somehow, let's say. Um, Alright, if, if it's a Norwegian guy here, please correct me if I did a mistake. Uh, I, it was unintentional. And now the fact that Troms and Finnmark are together. County the plateau is firmer for its thousand reindeer. So we have rain. is 
considered the technology capital of Norway. The city is Norway's capital of cross-country skiing, and the region has a reputation for producing champions, although many of them train elsewhere. So, the most skiing and the winter champions, sport champions, came from this area. Now let's move next. The next one in the list is Mur og Rumstol. <laughs> Mur og Rumstol. Let's try to control. Very hard here. There are so many fjords. Okay. This area or county, thanks to many lush rose gardens around the city of Mulde, Mulde, Mulde. It's often called the town of roses. So we have Mulde. It's town of roses. Summer, thousands of jazz enthusiasts form near and far, turn every corner for the city into week long music celebration during the Mill, the International Festival, Jazz Festival. In 1916, such 
features Lime's Fjord, Kijerak and Briggs Tulip, as well as the largest coastal plain in Norway. Well, Kijerak is uh, right like that. Kijerak Fjord, Briggs Tulip, the county. It's 
these areas was established in 2020 after a regional reform in Norway. Inside here it's Oslo capital, but it's not part of the country. Oslo has its own region. Uviken is home to over 1.2 million people, or 23% of the national population. The county, like I said, sits in the national capital Oslo, which is an angle of here. We're gonna talk later about Oslo. Okay, let's move next. Okay, next is Inland. Inland, this region here, which has two sub counties, the Oberland and Hedmark. But these are together now, after the reform from 2020. The county name translate the inland, it's inlanded, inland or inlanded, which reflects that the county is the only landlocked county in Norway. Agriculture. So we have agriculture and forestry are two important industries in the county with approximately 20% of the Norway's production in agricultural and 40% of timber. Hamar's manufacturers include heavy machinery, building materials and leather goods. And leather goods. Hamar is the capital and was also Lillehammer. Lillehammer. The old one. Good. Now let's move next. The next one it's Northland. This one Northland. Well, actually, the Northland is home to innumerable fjords like here. Industries are fisheries and offshore petroleum exploration. Northland is well known for the fishing and good fish. Production. Another attraction here, or a trend attraction here, is whale. and 
uh, you can see where it gets the name, the nickname, the Doomsday Vault. I am uh, not pay attention because it's very important. Since 2012, it has been a legal requirement that anyone traveling outside of a settlement must carry a firearm due to the trade post by the polar bear. So, if you want to live and to travel outside, you are obligated to wear a gun or a firearm. No, a firearm with you. And if not, it's illegal. It's illegal not to wear. So, you need to wear because of the polar bear. area in small board is uh, no there are no trees no trees at all and now we're gonna talk about the city of Oslo the city of Oslo which is right here it's the capital of Norway Oslo was, now the fact, Oslo was the European green capital for 2019. Oslo's distinctive brown city hall place host to the award ceremony of the Nobel Peace Prize every autumn. The nickname, nickname of Oslo is Tiger City, despite the fact that the nearest wild tiger is thousand of miles away and um, why it's the green capital of for 2019 one of the fact is that Oslo has more electric cars than any other city on the, in the world and now ecological fact Oslo recycle almost half of its waste around 40 percent of materials from the household waste in Oslo is recycled or used in new products and also reuses its waste heat the rest of the waste is converted into energy which is used to heat many homes schools and business across the capital very interesting facts I think we can uh, we can take this as a, a model of green technology and uh, okay and this was very interesting Norway a country which I respect very much and is one of my models thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if it's a Norwegian here yeah, on uh, the channel, please point me where I made some mistake. There was no unintentional. And I hope you understand. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Until then, I wish you all the best of course and bye bye. Some of